sponsor bloke here we go good day guys today something special we got a super quick the quickest the easiest and the cheapest bonsai mix we can ever make and it's as good as any mix out there so let's have a look at this what are we going to use we're going to use cat litter and this cat litter, the Woolworths brand lightweight cat litter, it's actually quite heavy, like that's probably a kilo, probably 10 kilo, 15 litres. So Woolworths cat litter, which is actually a Z-Lite or a fired, uh, not fired clay, but a volcanic clay. But basically you could consider it fired, so it's like a fired clay and absorbent absorbs water absorbs nutrients and also this one doesn't clump up and it doesn't break down i've been assured by people that have been using it for 10 years that this doesn't break down even when you repot 10 years later you could probably reuse it if you wanted to it's almost like a um almost like a ceramic really but still absorbent so there you go so volcanic clay or Z-Lite, and it's 100% pure. Now, we're gonna do it the super quickest, easiest way possible, and I'll show you some cups at the end. We'll get a cup of each. So basically, what I've got here, I've got two bags, so 15 litres each, and I've got, I believe, a 50 litre bag of Osmoco. So, if we mix all this together, we're gonna to end up with a 30% um, inorganic and a seven or close to a 40% inorganic and a 60% organic. So let's get going. So we're going to cut this open, get the old fat max out. I'll just get a cup of this out and we'll have a look at that. So here we go. Let's get a cup out. If you're really inclined, you could sift this. You could sift it, but I'm not going to. If I have to sift it, I'm not doing it. Basically, it's too much effort, but there you go. It's not bad. It looks pretty good. So anywhere from, I don't know, probably eight mil down to about two mil particles and apparently never breaks down so I'm going to put that to the side okay so the benefits of this easy method is the fact that we can mix it however we like so I can put in okay a full bag of litter. Or Z light, basically just call it Z light. Right, let's put in a full bag. Right, oh, let's put in the other bag too. Where's me knife gone? Oh, man. No, here. So, here we go, fired clay. Put this one in. So this is super easy. If you don't have a uh, cement mixer like me, it doesn't actually matter. What you do is you just um, put in a wheelbarrow, mix it with a shovel, or put it into a, um, a big tub and mix it with your hands. It's fine. I've just got a cement mixer laying around, so why wouldn't I use the cement mixer? Okay, so there's the actual mix of inorganic a little bit of dust, never not too bad. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix a mix that's only 30% organic and 70% inorganic. So, 
that means I've got a tip about 20 litres in it. Or just under 20 litres. So, for those of you who watch my channel, this is made a bit difficult by my hand. Which is healing up, but slowly, very slowly. Right, let's put in about 20 litres of potting mix. Make sure you get the premium brand potting mix. Premium potting mix, don't get the cheap stuff. Right, now let's turn it on and see what happens. Mix it up nice. Okay guys, so there we go, we've got about a 30% organic premium potting mix, okay, mixed with about 70% Zlite fired clay. Now, another thing that's really good about this mix is you can change it to whatever your conditions are, how wet your area is, how much you like to water. The less you want to water, the um, more organics you want to put in. The hotter you climate, the more organics. Um, there's no real hard and fast rules. If you were able to use 70% Zlite, 30% potting mix, you can still do that in a 40 odd degree Australian climate, really dry winds. Just means that you have to be home to water it four times a day. So. There's no hard and fast rules, whatever you want to do. This is a super, super, this is the most super easy way of making a mix. So, this is too much Z-Lite for me. I've got an automatic watering system, which is why I got some root rot on some of my plants. But you've got to remember, I had it in a very, very organic mix. Close. Maybe I'll go 60% organic and 40% Z-Lite. So, I'm going to put in nearly the rest of this bag, maybe leave about 10 litres. Hard work. I didn't think it would make quite so much soil, so I'm actually overloading the uh, cement mixer quite a bit. Because I've actually made more than the cement mixer can handle. Um, yeah, just made too much. But anyway, I'll see if I can get most of this bag in there. Now I might have to hold it up in the air just to finish it off. Okay, so that's most of the bag in there now. This will make, this is roughly going to be about a 60% organics with about 40% inorganic. And I'll start it up on a bit of an angle. <laughs> Quite a satisfying thing to watch a cement mixer mix it up. Bring it up, point you guys in. Well, let's get mixing.
recording that's so on. <laughs> Last time I forgot to record when I tipped it and then I had to load it all back in with a shovel so that I could show me tipping it. Oh, idiot. Anyway, so this mix now is done. It's 40 litres of premium potty mix with 30 litres of zeolite or volcanic clay. It doesn't have a lot of powder in it, to be honest. If you go and get uh, pumice or perlite, you will find, with perlite, you'll find a lot of dust in it. So this is a good, cheap, easy mix, two ingredients only, super cheap, easiest thing you could ever make. And like I say, you can change the ratio to whatever you like. Um, super easy to do. Whatever suits your climate or your watering wishes, how much you're prepared to water, the less you're prepared to water, the more organics, the more you want to water, the uh, more inorganics or less organics. So if you want to water a lot, so look at this, actually pretty good, look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. G'day guys, so there we go, we've got a final product of 65% organic to 35% inorganic, which I think for my climate, I get 45 degrees Celsius days, the amount of water that I can put on or afford to put on is a pretty good compromise, I think that should be pretty good. The old mix was probably more like 90% organics, which was the bonsai mix or succulent and that mix. Anyway, I thought I would display and talk about each one of these sort of percent mixes and what you would normally, I guess, use them for. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves, hang on. Okay, so let's talk about these. 100% zeolite. So you can see what's in there. Pure zeolite. Okay, what I would use that for is for probably a climate that gets super amount of rain. You are there to water it whenever you have a hot day in the middle of summer. You need to be there to water it. This here will probably dry out super, super quick. You'll have to fertilize it as much as possible. But having said that, you will get really good root growth. As long as you keep the fertilizer up to it and the water up to it, you will get super good root growth. A good thing about the 100% mix would be that you could never overwater it. Um, no matter how much you water it, there would be enough air or oxygen in there. So. The health of a tree is pretty much a balance between oxygen and water, and that's pretty much it. So, which is actually a hard thing to do, but with this, as long as you were there to water it, it would be a super good way of doing it. But, okay, a bit of a disclaimer to that is if you were away at a party on a hot day, your bonsai is dead, okay? This here will kill your bonsai in seconds if you're not home to water it and keep it moist. It'll dry out and die super quick. But you will get good root divisions in here and you can also control everything, including the fertilizer, super good. Okay, a bit of a compromise is 70% zeolite with 30% potting mix. Make sure premium potting mix. This is a bit of a compromise. You could pretty much exactly the same climate as 100% zeolite okay but watering it slightly less um you could also be in a hotter climate with 70 percent zeolite but you have to be super on the game watering it and basically okay so the 100 percent zeolite on a hot day your tree dies on a hot day with 70 percent your tree might not die and it might just stress a little bit 
okay or in a cold climate it might stress a bit on a hot day but in a super hot climate this would be like having a hundred percent in a cold climate so hot climate cold climate watering it about the same okay let's move on here we've got 35 percent zeolite 65 percent potting mix now i think this is a sweet spot and this is where i'm going to be okay so this is my mix now and i'm going to slowly transition all my trees into this mix as time goes on because i have found that they've been kept slightly wet lately i've got the automatic watering system which waters three times a day i can change that to four times a day if i have to so i'm happy to try and have a 35 percent zeolite 65 percent potting mix so let's correlate these two together these two here would be again the same as if this was in a cold climate with 70 percent zeolite or the 35 percent zeolite was in a hot climate that would be a similar amount of watering by hand or automatic watering or whatever cold climate hot climate or like i say if you had that in a hot climate you'd have to water a lot and this also could be 70% zeolite could also be a good cutting mix too so you could get cuttings growing in that pretty easily you got a lot of air a lot of space probably a good cutting mix as well 35% zeolite starting to probably get a little bit too moist for cuttings so you probably want to do the 70% for that but for a hot climate I would recommend 35% zeolite 65% potting mix then water accordingly as you normally would for a cold climate i would recommend probably 70 percent zeolite 30 percent potting mix okay now pure potting mix this i have used before it works fine the thing to remember when using pure potting mix is there's no coarse stuff that's going to separate roots to cause division you're going to get long roots they get, that are going to coil around the pot another thing to remember is not to water so much remember it's a balance between water and oxygen and even if you use 100 percent potting mix you can still get really good growth um, and a super healthy tree you just got to remember to adjust your water accordingly you're watering accordingly you're watering accordingly so that's if you want to use 100 percent potting mix it can work it can work but to take the guessing game out and make it a lot easier for everybody and a lot harder to kill a tree, I recommend 30% sea light for a hot climate, 70% sea light for a colder climate. I don't really recommend 100% even though you could if you really wanted to water a lot and fertilise with every second watering basically. So there you go. There's the mixes, that's what they look like. Completely dark potting mix. You can see here we've got a bit of a mix, but mainly potting mix, 65%. Okay, so that was 30 litres of zeolite with 40 litres of potting mix. Make sure you use a premium potting mix. And then here we are, 30% potting mix, 70% zeolite. And you can see the difference, a lot, a lot more whiter looking and yeah it's, it's just up to you it's up to you how much you want to water you can keep a tree alive in pure clay and you can keep them alive in pure zeolite you just got to water accordingly and fertilize accordingly no worries guys i hope this helped without confusing anyone but yeah basically hot climate cold climate mix and that's it if you want to do super cheap without mixing all that other stuff in and having 10 different ingredients and sifting it and all that super easy way to do it i recommend one of the two middle ones and that's it super simple like i say you don't have to have a you don't have to have a cement mixer i just happen to have one so that's how i did it because it makes it easy like um i was able to mix up 70 litres of potting mix, or uh, potting mix, bonsai mix of zeolite and 
potting mix. So 70 litres of bonsai mix in here. And uh, let's get on to the cost actually. I didn't, didn't mention the cost, sorry. Cost is $8 per bag of the 15 litre cat litter or zealite and $19 for the bag of uh, premium potting mix which was 50 litres so I've actually got 10 litres to spare sitting there so roughly what's that 8, 8, 16 and 19 is uh, $45 roughly 60 cents per litre of pretty good quality bonsai mix okay so you won't you can mix all them other special things into your mix but it's not really going to help that much as long as you've got free draining a lot of air space you're going to have a really healthy tree okay just um, fertilize accordingly you don't need to spend a lot of money so this is the quickest cheapest simplest way of making your mix there you go 60 cents per litre pretty good no worries guys thanks for watching Aussie Bonsai bloke um, I hope I didn't ramble on too long I feel like I have a bit again I tried to make this one a quick simple one but I always get carried away cheers guys thanks for watching <coughs> and have a good one